Hello and welcome to the latest update from The World is in Beta, where we are currently taking a look at the impact of digital and fintech on the financial services industry. The financial services industry has been perceived with increasing suspicion over the last decade, and it's ripe for disruption. But we believe that fintechs also have the power to change these perceptions of the sector and be a force for good. Today I'm joined by Russell King, CEO of Pecasso, a fintech which is specialising in combating identity fraud through new facial recognition technology. Hello Russell and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me Rob, good to be here. So tell us a bit about Picasso. So you're absolutely right, we set out to help um, combat identity fraud, we use technology to help our clients ultimately combat that fraud. Uh, it is facial recognition technology, it's image recognition, computer learning, so it is a combination of technologies uh, with the objective being, just as you described, to help our clients, which many of whom are in the financial services business, um, understand are they doing business with who people represent themselves to be. So, so it's all about security then? No, most certainly it isn't all about security. Uh, I think we set out to address this fundamental problem around uh, identity fraud, but ultimately what we have learnt is it has to be more than that. It has to be about providing a good experience for consumers. Uh, another big part of it has to be you need to address certain issues that these institutions have, which primarily are regulatory. So FinTech is very much a force for good within the industry, helping the industry innovate and refocus on the customer whilst maintaining security. Uh, I think absolutely it's a force for good, no question about it. So what do you think the future holds for the FinTech industry and for financial services generally? Choice. Uh, I think choice for the consumer is ultimately what we are going to see a great deal more of. The easier it is for new lines of business to be presented to consumers, um, the more opportunity there is for everybody. So I think ultimately it is about a greater uh, opportunity for choice. Innovation is a core part of your business, but not necessarily a core thing that a bank or an insurance company does today. It is something that large organisations have seemed to struggle with. So fintech isn't just about disruption and putting banks and insurance companies out of business. It's also about partnering and collaborating together to improve financial services for the consumer. I think that's absolutely it, Rob. Um, I'm sure there are many fintech startups who think they are going to reduce old line businesses to rubble. Uh, I think there are very few examples of those. Uh, I think it is predicated on finding models that collabor truly collaborate and work. But there's room for everybody, the incumbents, the fintechs, the existing banks, the new insurers. Um, there's room for a lot. I'm not sure there's room for everybody. I am sure we will see some organisations that uh, look as if they're going to uh, achieve extraordinary things and end up merging with others. So, no, I don't think there's room for everybody. Um, but there's room for a lot, no question. So what do you think the future holds for fintech and the financial services industry, Russell? Greater movement, um, faster um, execution by existing organisations in making decisions about what fintech is relevant to them and what fintech isn't and therefore we'll see ultimately some opportune winners and those who unfortunately aren't as successful. Thank you very much Russell. Thank you for having me.